Welcome to the BIF Talks of the 36th Braunschweig International Film Festival. We talk with our guests about the latest film, the filmmaking process, and we take a closer look behind the scenes. My name is Jure Rutkowska, and I'm very happy to welcome Anna Kazajek, director of Fucking Bornholm. Hello. Great to have you here, Anna. Thank you for having me. The relationship is older than Tinder. Hubert and Maya spend time out with their kids and a befriended family on the island Bornholm. How is the vacation going? Can you tell us a bit about the story? Well, um, yeah, probably it's not the not the per, not the most perfect uh, trip ever. Um, my protagonists uh, are going to the short weekend, how we call it in uh, in uh, long weekend, how we call it in Poland, and they're going to spend uh, very nice and quality time in Borholm, But unfortunately. Kids uh, are uh, not, uh, uh, or maybe they play not the perfect games, <laughs> and they destroy the, the the mood of not only of the family but also the whole group. Because the my protagonists they don't go to only together, but they go with the friends. So this is a story about uh, family, but not only a family, but generally about the couples and how it's uh, working after a long time together and sometimes how it works just when you spend a very short period of time together. Generally it's about uh, love, hate, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, your film is nominated for the TILDA, the Women's Film Award of the Braunschweig International Film Festival. You try to show uh, many topics from a female perspective. May it uh, be um, problems in a long-term marriage, or as you told us, um, the children, raising children, problems with children. What was um, very important for you to uh, tell the audience from a female perspective? I don't know how it's uh, in Germany, but in Poland we have this uh, um, very strong model of mother. And this is a very important figure in our culture. When you become mother, you can do many things. You can be uh, independent. You, you have to spend time with your kids. Uh, you shouldn't go out uh, you know, for a drink with, with your friends. Uh, you should be perfect. You should cook perfect cakes and clean your house every Saturday or Friday and um, there are so many um, obstacles so many uh, expectation you know and um, uh, which uh, are uh, dedicated for, for, for female when uh, they have children uh, and I wanted to talk with that kind of model I wanted to um, uh, broke that uh, um, statue of mother in Poland because you know nowadays you ha we have to ask ourselves if we can combine all those roles in our life or if we can reject some models and uh, find a perfect model for ourselves not to follow um, rules but just to create our own rules to be happy so um, in uh, uh, thinking about this and watching the film it's um, you can see that uh, our Maya, the, the main character, is looking for her own. She's asking, she, maybe she's not finding uh, the answers, but she's uh, questioning, you know, her life. She's questioning her marriage. She's um, trying to be, uh, uh, to, f to find the new path for, for herself. So it's, this is something new in Polish cinema. This is something that probably Borholm, Fakim Borholm brought to our uh, uh, discussion, I mean, in our country, and, uh, and open it. And um, I hope we kill that, 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 that uh, old-fashioned model of relation a bit because it should be killed many times, many years ago, and um, that's uh, that. I think that's the very, very feministic perspective for uh, 
which I create in, that, in this movie. So you portrayed the character of Maya very well. She is like caught in this marriage. Uh, she wants to be this perfect loving mother for her children. Speaking of children, there is an incident between the children of the two families. We don't want to spoil it yet, but in general, um, how was it to work with child actors? How um, yeah, did you um, connect with them? How uh, did they understand of all, all of the story? Of course not, because it's uh, impossible to understand that kind of issues when you are six. And um, so uh, we prepared children uh, weeks before shooting, and we discussed everything with with the parents. And we, uh, I work with the psycho psychotherapist or like a kind of a trainer, kids trainer, and they, uh, she prepared. I mean, the the the, the lady prepared. Um, them, she talked with them with using um, language they can understand, and uh, they knew that uh, they have to do something because mother is angry or they um, they they behave uh, not as good as uh, they were expected. But they didn't knew what's the uh, what's the matter. They uh, understood uh, something uh, afterwards when they uh, watched the film uh, at the premiere because parents allowed them to do it. It wasn't my decision. And um, yeah, but that, that, I think that was the most important thing during shooting, not to make any harm, not to destroy their good moods because, you know, in children's world, you know, they did something wrong. But, you know, after one, two days, they don't remember what happened. And actually, they don't know what they what happened, you know, because that's, that's the, adult, the problem for adults, not for them. They do something very uh, common and they do something very normal for this age. They, they are... At they do kind of experiments. We don't know exactly what they did, actually, you know, because that's the kind of secret. They don't say openly what they did. We just have some elements and we have to put that puzzles uh, by our own because mother also doesn't know what, what, what exactly happened. Something happened. Uh, so, um, I was talking about the script with many um, psychologists and they said they, um, they, are happy, they were happy with the, with the script. They said that's a very uh, good, uh, that's a good portrait of, of uh, uh, young, younger kids and also this is very common how adult parents, uh, you know, react uh, when something like that happens. So you like worked around the acting of the children? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We work a lot before, and we talk a lot before, but not. But at the at the uh, at the set, I was the person who could say only good. It, it's good or or bad, or you have to move, or you have to do something differently. But they were prepared before, so they they I didn't have to explain what's going on here and that was the work for the lady before so I for me the uh, working with children was very easy in this project and very smooth and very um, comfort comfortable for both sides I, I, I think yeah, cool that's great Anna music uh, is an important part um, for the storytelling of a film um, the orchestral score in your film is very present uh, how did you work with the composer? How did you create atmosphere? Um, yeah, from the very beginning, I was thinking about uh, classic music for this film, but it wasn't so easy to find a um, perfect, perfect uh, piece of uh, of the music. And uh, I tried with uh, um, uh, with many very famous pieces. And then I found that it's quite uh, obvious and you know, it's nothing original. So I have to find a good composer to create something fresh. And um, so uh, at the beginning when I talked with Jerzy, I found that he understands everything perfectly. 
but the challenge was to make some, to mix and or to find a perfect tone for this music because the film it's not only I mean, we I, I'm trying to talk something serious but you can find many funny moments or you can I mean this is um, the tone it's uh, it's mixed it's a tra dramedy it's a tragedy tragedy mixed with comedy so this uh, the music had to um, create the tone to um, underline uh, important moments with the perfect tone uh, and sometimes um, uh, to give some commentary for, for, for I mean I, I, I think like an outer commentary for, for this for, 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 for this what is happening on the screen so um, he understood what I mean and uh, it was also quite smooth uh, cooperation because uh, it was quite long because we prepared uh, first we prepared the whole score in the computer and then we had to record it with the live musicians and it was good fun it was great time it was very uh, emotional moment when I heard could hear the the, the power of the music in the studio, um, and I, I love actually I love the music. This music I think it's very powerful and uh, it's um, it's really well done. So did you have an, a whole orchestra? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had a, the whole orchestra in the studio. Okay. Yeah, but I think this is a kind of a good possibility because you have so many instruments to um, have or create good moment, sad moments, happy, emotional. Yeah, of course it was prepared before. There was the whole, uh, um, I don't know how to call it in English, but it, everything was prepared before, so there was no improvisation in the studio. But, uh, but you know, it's always the, so different when you hear the live music, you know, the real instruments. And um, so I remember the, the difference, you know, because I knew the, I knew the, the the notes, I knew the um, the music lines, but then when I heard the the final um, the live uh, instrument, the final uh, mix, I felt like wow, it's 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 really powerful and it's so great in, um, impression, you know, that because like you know a few weeks before there was nothing and then you have something such a beautiful thing you know such a beautiful uh, piece of music so it was I remember that it was really touching and we really uh, enjoyed that moment when we recorded you're also part of the jury of the Volkswagen financial services award what is important for you for a film Oh God, it's, uh, it's a tough question, maybe. Yeah, I can yeah. talk about it in you know, <laughs> hours, maybe not in English, better in Polish. But uh, there's a lot of aspects uh, of film which I, um, which are important for me. I think it, uh, at the beginning it's a kind of honesty. If you want to say something honest, something which is important for you, that's the you can feel it on the screen, you know. And also, you know. Um, I really, uh, it's really important to be creative and to be um, original and fresh. Uh, sometimes you, when you watch uh, films, you feel like, okay, it's I, I saw that film before, but it wasn't that film. That was another film. But still, you know, you can you can see that it's um, similar to something. It's um, maybe it's not the perfect, you know. Um, candidate for, for a prize, uh, that kind of film. But so when we were watching films, we were, uh, we tried to find something original, something um, uh, new, something fresh, something which touched, which can touch us and uh, be surprised and give us some, uh, some kind of surprise, something, some kind of present, something that it's, uh, uh, you can uh, watch the film and, you know, when you, when, this is the 
perfect moment when you are when when it's Christmas and you you have the the present and you are you can spend like an hour or maybe not an hour but 30 minutes you know uh, trying to find uh, uh, what's 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 inside so that's this is something what I like in a film you know when you have to spend like the whole film thinking about it and still you don't know what will be at the end so that was the film which we were looking for okay. in the jury and yeah I yeah. think that kind of film won okay the, the that's great yeah. so we're excited uh, which film will win the award ceremony will be tomorrow yeah. and um, yes we're very excited Anna thank you very much thanks. for your time and um, being here with us thank you thank you thank you